We look so good, don't we? Today? Yes, we do, Erin. Yes, we do. We're all awesome. <laughs> We called each other late last night. I'm here with my new friend, Coach Kenya Catlin, yes. who is author of What's Food Got to Do With What's It? What's Food Got to and Do With It? And thank you for being here so early. In our last half hour, we talked about breakfast, getting those kids off yes. to school, started on the right foot. Lunch is just as important here, and so we're going to focus on this area of the table right now. What are we thinking of when we pack lunches? This is what I came up with, Erin. Let the kids have their peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Let them have their pudding. But what we want to do is we want to add the nutrient dense foods that mm -hmm. I talked about earlier to, to, the, to their bag. I can't talk right now. So we added a little broccoli, a little cauliflower, uh, some sugar snap peas, little carrots. Kids want the sweetness. Do you do dip uh, with these things? Because I mean, I don't know many kids who are going to eat plain broccoli. All kids are not created equal when it comes to the dip. <laughs> no. So if your kid needs dip, give them the dip yeah you know give it to them uh meet them where they are so if they want a little dip a little ranch or whatever go for it the point is we want to get these nutritionally dense foods in, in our kids yes yeah. yeah, so they can focus for school so they can concentrate so that they can have the energy now this is a power bag so there's a lot going on in here with broccoli and cauliflower and sugar snap peas but your kid may not be ready to do all of that so maybe just a little broccoli, a little cauliflower, and some grapes, and mm -hmm. it gives them that sweetness. So go ahead again. I don't want to just take everything away from them. It doesn't work like that, but it's sometimes what we add in that makes all the difference. Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Megan, our meteorologist who's off this week, spending some time with her kids before they go back to school, okay. she was talking about packing lunches, and she was wondering, do you need to worry about, like, mayonnaise and whatnot, you know, being out of the fridge that long for lunch, or are you still okay? You do. You, oh, you do. do. That's a, that's, you don't want uh, foods that should be refrigerated just to be hanging around and hanging out, so you yeah. do definitely want to watch that. Yeah, you want to you want to watch I'm living kind of wild then cuz yeah, I really watch that as close yeah, as you guys should. <laughs> yeah, you've got to watch that yeah. because mayonnaise can spoil and so you want to keep it refrigerated. You can get the little packets though. And so the little packets hold a little bit longer. Oh, of course idea. they have preservatives in them, uh, which is, you know, what I'm kind of fighting against, but it works. Just not all the time. We're going to do work. what we can with what we, we have. We have to do what we can. These are great ideas. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, lunch is kind of standard, but I'm sure a lot of people have questions about dinner, and we're all pressed for time, too, when we're coming home. So coming up yes. in our next half hour, Ken, Coach Kenny is going to be back with us yes. to talk about dinner, dinner, which I'm really looking forward to. And then yes. also you're doing your live web chat, too, upstairs. I am. On our CBS Chicago Facebook page. You're getting some good questions. Uh, you know what? I've got quite a few, good. and let's bring some more in. Bring I'm coming, here yeah. all morning to answer any questions anybody Take may have. Take advantage of this wonderful yes. lady. All right, Coach Kenny, thank Thanks, you. We'll see you in our next half hour. Okay. Mike, back to you.